Hello everyone and welcome to Kitaguchi Hongu Fuji Sengen Jinja, which translates to the North Gate or North Entrance Shrine to Mount Fuji. It is one of many Sengen shrines around Japan. In fact, there's about 1,300 Sengen or sometimes called Asama shrines, which are all dedicated to Mount Fuji. And today I'm going to be sharing a little bit of weird trivia, which is the question, who owns Mount Fuji? And it's kind of a convoluted answer, so let's get into it. Your first thought might be that Mount Fuji is owned by the government, as in it's public land, like a national park. And that would not be a bad guess. In fact, you're half right at this point. But our story begins back at the end of the Warring States period when Tokugawa Ieyasu, who became the shogun who united Japan under his rule at the end of that period, dedicated or basically transferred ownership of this land to the Fuji Hongu Sengen Taisha, or the Fuji Grand Shrine, Sengen Grand Shrine Group. And they are based, the Grand Shrine is in Fujinomiya in Shizuoka Prefecture. But again, it's tied to the Sengen shrines that are all over Japan, including this one here. Now, that was in 1606 when Tokugawa Ieyasu gave the land over to the Grand Shrine Group and they basically administered and owned the land as sacred ground for centuries after that until the Meiji era when Japan opened to the west and Japan shifted to the government that married Shinto religion and the government together so religion basically Shinto became state religion and at that point, all of the land was nationalized, including all of the Fujisengen Shrine Group's lands, the shrine where I am now, and Mount Fuji itself. All became government property, essentially. And that lasted until the end of the war, when the Allies came in and the Americans rewrote the Japanese constitution, requiring there to be a separation between religion and state. So. The state religion with the emperor as god came to an end and at that point the government returned shrine lands to the shrine groups all across Japan except for Mount Fuji. They kept Mount Fuji as public land despite the order to separate them all and give them back to the original shrine groups. So the Fuji Grand Shrine sued the government. In 1974, it was ruled by the Japanese courts that the government had to return Mount Fuji to the Shrine Group. And that official return did not happen until 2004, 30 years later. But as of now, the Fuji Shrine Group now officially holds ownership over Mount Fuji from the 8th station up to the top. So if you climb Mount Fuji and you're at the 8th station or higher, you are on sacred ground. Everything below that is still national land and it is considered part of national park. But there's still one more wrinkle to all of this and that is there is no officially registered ownership of Mount Fuji because Mount Fuji straddles two prefectures in Japan, Yamanashi to the north where I am now and Shizuoka to the south. And so the Fuji Grand Shrine Group was unable to register Mount Fuji officially as owned by them. And so despite de facto ownership being given to the Shrine Group, it's not officially registered as theirs. The history of the Tokugawa connection with the Sengen Shrines is still very much seen today, especially if you visit the shrines in Shizuoka. And if you go to the main shrine in Shizuoka City, you actually can choose which kind of stamp you want to commemorate your visit when you take your stamp book and have them write the kanji and the date and the stamp when you were there. You actually are given the choice between having them write Asama Shrine or 
Sengen Shrine. The book is called the Goshirin Cho, and you can get them at pretty much any large temple or shrine, and you can start your stamp journey there. And it's actually the famous view of Mount Fuji at the Chureto Pagoda, down at the bottom of that hill, is another Asama shrine. So, as I mentioned, there's 1,300 of these all over Japan, and many of them were originally built with views of Mount Fuji. For example, Sengen shrines in Tokyo and in Chiba Prefecture actually had Fuji views. But of course, as modern Japan built up and you have high-rise apartments and office buildings, those views disappeared. Another feature you'll find on Sengen shrines is if they're far away from Mount Fuji especially, there will be a replica mound or hill in the middle of the shrine that is supposed to represent Mount Fuji. And that was provided for worshippers who were infirm or were unable to climb Mount Fuji for some reason. And so they would climb these replicas and that would count as having taken a pilgrimage to Mount Fuji and climbing Mount Fuji. Now, where I am right now, as I mentioned before, is the north gate of Mount Fuji or the north entrance to Mount Fuji. And I'm actually gonna walk over to the gate that officially marks the start of the climbing path. So the main shrine is here. And I have been inside um, when my child was blessed in the Shichigo-san ceremony or three, five, seven-year-old ceremony, which is kind of a coming-of-age type ceremony. We were in the shrine for that, and I've also been to a wedding in there, actually. But ahead of us here, that is the official climbing entrance to Mount Fuji. You can see it actually says Fujisan on the Tori Gate itself. We have a statue of a pilgrim to the side. And once you cross through that gate, you are on the path to climb Mount Fuji from the bottom, not from the fifth station, how most people do it, which is to take a car or a bus up to the fifth station and start halfway. In my humble opinion, the climb is much better to start down here. If you really want to experience all of the faces of the mountain, climbing from the bottom is much more satisfying. I have done it starting at this shrine, going all the way to the top, and it is an experience I will never forget. So consider that if you want to really give yourself a Mount Fuji climbing challenge in the future. And once you've reached the eighth station, you are on official sacred shrine grounds. Basically all of that land, including what I'm walking on right now, is dedicated to Konohana no Sakuyahime, who is the goddess of Mount Fuji, the goddess of fire and easy childbirth. And she is one of the main deities, not the only deity, but the main deity that is worshipped at the Sengen and Asama shrines. Now this Tori gate here, which I walked through as I was heading up the hill and entered the main grounds, is actually replaced every 66 years. It is torn down and it is rebuilt every 66 years, which is said to be one Fuji year. So basically 66 human years equate to one Fuji year. So if you find yourself on the north slopes of Fuji at some point in the town of Fuji Yoshida or Kawaguchiko, this is one of the places that you have to visit when you're here. It's one of the most beautiful shrines in Japan, in my opinion. You have this beautiful forest that surrounds it with these very, very old trees. And it's just a beautiful, very spiritually inviting and strong spot that I highly recommend. And now you know a little bit of trivia about that. You can impress your friends when you come here and say, do you know who owns Mount Fuji? Well, and you can show them your knowledge. All right, thank you for watching this midweek video. I'll catch you in the next one. Please watch for my Saturday video, which I drop every week, and I will hope to see you then. Peace.